Welcome back. This is lesson 120, adding and subtracting mixed numbers with different denominators. And this is the practice set. As you can see, we've got a lot of these to practice. And so the hope is that by doing this enough times, it will become really second nature to you and you will be able to understand very quickly what you need to do. But being able to do it very quickly comes with practice. So join me as we practice this and hopefully we'll both get really good. Our first one, three halves plus one fourth. Um, I'm looking at this and I know that I can change one half to something that has a denominator uh, of four and that would be three and two fourths plus one and one fourth and that gives me four and three fourths. Yay! Our next one, four and three fourths plus one and one eighth. I'm keeping my eighth the same, but I'm gonna change this three fourths to four and six eighths plus one and one eighth. And that ends up giving me five and seven Next one, four and one fifth plus one and three tenths. I look, I'm gonna keep my 10 the same, but I'm gonna change my one fifth because I know that I can, if I multiply this by two on the top and two on the bottom, we will end up having the denominator of 10. So I'm gonna rename this to four and two tenths plus one and three tenths. I'm kind of going crickety, but I apologize. Five and five tenths. Wait a minute. I know that five tenths can be, re can be reduced or simplified to five and one half. Okay. Our next one six and one six plus one and one third. I'm gonna hold, keep this the same, but I'm going to change my one third. I'm gonna change it by multiplying by two on the top and two on the bottom. So six and one sixth plus one and two sixth. And that equals seven and Three sixth. Looking at this again, we know what three sixth is. We've got seven and one half. Now I hope that you've done this because I'm going to have to erase this part so we can get over. Well, we'll try. We'll see if we can keep it all all set. Three and seven eighths minus one and one fourth. This is the fraction I'm working on. I'm going to multi. I'm going to um, Multiply this by two, by two, and that gives me, I'm gonna put this as two eighths, and three minus one is two, seven minus two is five, so two and five eighths. Not the prettiest, and when you're not very organized, you do run the risk of making a mistake. I hope we're okay here. Please verify this for me, okay? Our next one, two and three fifths minus two and one tenth. And I know that I can say two and six tenths because I multiplied this by two and this by two minus two and one tenth. And that gives me two minus two, zero. 6 minus 1 is 5 tenths. Once more, here's that 5 tenths over here. 5 tenths, which we know is equal to 1 half. If you don't understand this, you need to come talk to me because um, this is an important concept. Our next part, 6 and 7 halves minus 1 and 1 sixth. I'm gonna keep this the same, but I'm gonna multiply this by two 
and this by two, and we'll have six and seven twelfths minus one and two twelfths. And this ends up, we we'll say six minus one is five, and then two minus, seven minus two is five over 12. And we know that this cannot be simplified or reduced because our five is a prime number. Finally, last but not least, four and three fourths minus one and a half. This is the guy I'm, this is the fraction I'm going to change. Multiplying it by two, multiplying it by two. And so we have four and three fourths minus one and two fourths. Four minus one is three. Three minus two is one. And our denominator is four. So our answer is three and one fourth. And there you have it. You have completed Saxon four. I am so proud of you. Give yourselves a cheer and go do your homework. Take care.